This segment is all about selling your business in today's market. Welcome to the program. I'm Mark Imperial, and this segment's brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals finally get their books done and published to educate consumers, grow their businesses and practices, and to leave a legacy. Joining me on this segment is Debbie Small with Apex Business Advisors. Debbie, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mark. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about your work and specifically let us know who are the types of clients that you specialize in helping. Sure. Um, so I've been selling companies for nearly 20 years and we sell every kind of industry, uh, manufacturing, distribution, wholesale service, you name it. Right on. So Debbie, these business owners, they're great at growth, 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 but how many of them have really put a lot of thought into the sale of their business? Are, are a lot of them doing this the very first time? Uh, what have you found? Great question. So it's really funny. Um, business owners focus on their company and growing day-to-day -day revenue. Uh, and oftentimes they don't think about an exit strategy or plan appropriately. Um, and oftentimes, um, you know, I've run into situations where business owners will have a health issue or maybe they're going through a divorce or they have some kind of a personal situation where they need to sell quickly and they haven't planned accordingly. So we often recommend that business owners start planning, you know, well in advance of their exit strategy. Strategy. Right on. So Debbie, since a lot of business owners, they don't know what they don't know yet. Uh, when they reach out to you, what are, what's the most common question or concern that you hear from them? Sure. Most business owners want to get a, an understanding of what the fair market value of their company is. Um, they want to see if they're going to hit their, you know, mile marker for their exit strategy to plan for retirement accordingly. Um, so oftentimes what I do is I provide a free uh, uh, broker's opinion of value on their company just to give them a snapshot of what the fair market value is. And if they're close to hitting their desired dollar amount, um, if not, then certainly give them suggestions on how to increase that value. You know, today with a lot of people searching Google for answers and stuff, there's a lot of mixed information out there. And you mentioned about valuation, for example. Uh, are there any other big like myths or misconceptions that you hear over and over again that you'd like to debunk? Sure. Um, it's, it's interesting because a lot of business owners will watch the news and they'll hear about these multi-billion dollar companies that are selling for these incredible multiples of, of EBITDA or cash flow. And um, it's, uh, it's interesting because really Main Street companies, which is what we specialize in, businesses that sell from anywhere from 500,000 to $100 million, the multiple is smaller than what you hear on the news. So a lot of times I'm setting the value for the for the seller and letting them understand the, you know, the requirements of determining the fair market value. And a lot of it's based on funding. Um, most buyers are going to cash out the, the seller with a third party financing, uh, you know, most often through the SBA, sometimes through conventional loans, sometimes through private equity groups that have got a fund available to buy businesses. Um, but there's a, a finite value uh, based you know, on, you know, what the buyer's debt service would be on the loan that they would incur to buy the business. Great insight. Let's talk a little bit about the state of selling a business in today's economy versus before the pandemic. Have you noticed any big shifts or any big differences in the market? We've had a few industries that were hit hard with COVID where their revenue numbers went down, and that definitely has an impact on, on the fair market value of the company. Um, but interestingly enough, we are busier than we've ever been. Uh, you know, I tell you what, almost every business that we list goes under contract very, very quickly. Um, it really still is a seller's market. Um, but although it's a seller's market, uh, you know, the value of the company has got to fit within that box um, for debt service and financing. Uh, and most often the, the lender will require a third party appraisal on the business. Um, so we have to make sure that, you know, the business is overvalued or, or it will sit on the market for a long time. But it is it's still a very, very hot market for us. Right on. Debbie, what inspired you to get into this field and help business owners sell their businesses? How did you get started? Sure. So um, 
Uh, I used to sell media advertising and had worked with small business owners for over a decade and had always wanted to own my own company. And so I connected with Apex as a buyer and was interested in purchasing a business. Uh, and I developed a relationship with the Apex team and they hired me um, and I've been with them for almost 20 years now. Terrific. Debbie, before I ask you my last question, uh, is there anything in regards to selling a business in today's market that I didn't think to ask you that you feel is important to share with these business owners that are considering selling today? Sure. Um, you've got great, you've asked great questions. I think the, the critical piece in moving forward is understanding the sales process and what it takes to sell a company. It's a very involved process. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces. Um, you've got elements uh, like a non-compete. You've got issues of transferring over, you know, employees and making sure that employees are happy with the new ownership. Um, you've got uh, training and transition. You've got uh, allocation of purchase price, which is all part of the purchase agreement. So there's all sorts of moving parts and pieces that go into the sale of a business. And um, it's not for the faint of heart. Uh, it really is uh, a very involved process. And just making sure that you educate yourself um, as a seller uh, on the front end to understand what's involved so you don't go in and, and have any surprises. Sage advice for business owners listening who would like to speak with you and perhaps get your help in understanding that process. Uh, how can they find you, connect with you, and learn more? Sure. Um, the best way to get a hold of me is through email. Uh, my email address is dsmall, for Debbie Small, dsmall at kcapex, kcapex.com. And then feel free to include their contact information. I can reach out to them. We can set up a, a, a free initial conversation and we'd be happy to get an understanding of their business and what their exit plans are, what their strategies are, um, and we'd be happy to help. Debbie, this has been terrific. I really appreciate you taking the time to share with my audience today, and I wish you continued success for you and for all of your clients. Terrific. Well, thank you, Mark. I appreciate your time. That was Debbie Small with Apex Business Advisors, and this segment's been brought to you by BooksGrowBusiness.com. It's the place where busy professionals finally get those books done and published to educate consumers, grow their businesses, and to leave a legacy. That's all for now. I'm Mark Imperial, and thanks for joining me.